SOLIDWORKS every plane has two faces. One uh, it's green and we call that the front face or the positive face. The other one is red, so we call that the negative or the back face. As far as I know, there is nowhere in the documentation describing how to control which one is which when you create a plane. Uh, fortunately, I went to SOLIDWORKS World 2012 and Charles Culp showed us one way of doing it. So let's say I have three points in space and I'm gonna create a plane using those three points as references. Now the order of the selection is gonna be counterclockwise first. So this was one, two and three. I went counterclockwise. As you can see, the positive direction or the front plane is facing me. So that means if I'm creating a sketch here, uh, let's pick uh, something simple and uh, extrude it. The positive direction, as you can see, the extrusion in the first direction goes in the positive direction of the plane. Okay, now allow me just to move this uh, plane a little bit to the side, or at least the boundary of its plane, of that plane, and create a brand new one using the same three points. This time I'm gonna select them in a clockwise direction. So I'm creating a new plane. Surprise, surprise, the negative face is facing me now instead of having the positive face. So if I'm selecting um, this plane and creating a sketch on top of it and I extrude that sketch, surprise, surprise, it goes in the opposite direction. Now if you are to change the definition of this plane, so I'm just going to delete these uh, references and apply them, uh, uh, apply them again, this time in a counterclockwise direction. So I redefine the sketch plane, surprise, surprise, again, the direction again goes towards the positive direction of the plane. So this is one way you can switch your extrusions, just redefine your plane. Now, um, in case your plane or the phase where this extrusion wasn't based on a three point reference uh, selection. Feel free to create another plane just before creation of the extrusion and uh, assign the sketch to the new plane. This way you can control the direction without really breaking the other references after the fact. So that's about it. Thank you and thanks a lot uh, Charles for sharing with us this great uh, tactic. Thanks.